Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here today. Phone lines are open, 559-656-0317. You can also send your questions in to questions at insurancehour.com. Of course, if you need immediate help, you can also dial pound 250, use the keyword insurance, and be transferred to someone that can help you right away. Today, we are continuing with our special guest, all the way up, sweltering in Sacramento. Sounds like it should be a movie title. (laughs) Blanca Pacheco, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. We, we've been talking about a bill and a little bit of education on the, uh, the judicial process, the uh, legislative process as well. So if you've missed any part of this, definitely jump online, search for Insurance Hour. You'll find us on all the podcast apps as well as YouTube and iHeartMedia. And, and listen to the beginning of this because a lot of really good information in here that I think you'll want to know. So we were talking about the next steps for your bill. And you were saying that currently it's gone through the assembly. Big thumbs up, right? So it's made it through that process, and now it's gone to the others, right, in in the Senate, Uh which are have their own committees and their own groups, and that's in essence where it's sitting right now. And after that, it's going to go to a floor vote for the Senate. That is correct. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it. All right, I got it right. You're a pro. Tell I'm I'm (laughs) I'm learning with you. So the so the question is, you you've got these senators that are going to be voting on this. Hopefully, once it comes out of all of these committees, have you spoken to any of them? Some of them that you're comfortable talking about. What is the general feel about this bill? So I've talked and talking to I've talked to several senators. It's already gone through two different committees on the Senate side. And this bill has received bipartisan support. Uh, So a lot of the senators, like the assembly members, want to keep this business here in California and see the importance of the bill. And so that's why it's received bipartisan support. So, so far, it's, it's going through each committee rather smoothly. So as far as the numbers go. What is it, how, when this floor vote comes, how many people are voting and how many have to approve it for it to move on to, to the good old governor's desk where we don't know what's going to happen? <laughs> so you're asking me to do math. Um, Sorry. You have It's okay. You have 40 state senators and you need 21 to get it to pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a simple majority. It is. Yeah. Okay. And so we know that Senator Dodd is, you have said, has already uh, given you his support for it. Correct. And... What would you estimate? You, you need another 20. Uh, do you have a feeling? I mean, I assume you've spoken to a bunch of people mm-hmm. you know, throughout the committee process. What do you feel are the odds that it's going to get the support that it needs, that 21 vote? I'm very optimistic. I'm optimistic, especially since they went through two uh, separate committees with different state senators. So I'm very optimistic. It's very interesting. Yeah. What is the normal timeline? If you can, walk backwards. When did you first put pen to paper or finger to keyboard to actually start writing this up. Since you're an attorney, you probably did a lot of the actual drafting yourself. <laughs> when, when did this start to get us to where we are right now? So we started this process back in January, started off with conversations, and then that led to the drafting of the bill. And of course, we received help also from legislative counsel. That's fast. Yeah, it's, it's I, pretty I, fast. And yet it I, I feels like mean, such a long time ago. Well, that's just the way time is these days, right? It feels like yesterday was was a month ago. But I have to tell you, from a general, you know, consumer and you know, uh, citizen standpoint, to hear that something could potentially go from nothing to, I say, the second to last step, right? The Senate vote and then mm-hmm. the the governor's signature in in a matter of seven months, six months. I think that's pretty darn fast. Is that uh, is that Typical in your experience there? It is. It is typical. uh, But sometimes you have tough bills that may take over two years to get through the process uh, because you're working with opposition. You're perfecting your bill. Uh, But fortunately, this bill, uh, we we introduced it this year, even though conversations were being held from last year. uh, But sometimes you start the conversations early just to get people on board with your bill, to get opposition, um, you know, off of your bill. Uh, but I have an open door policy. I work with the opposition. I try to get them to a good place where maybe they're neutral on the bill. 
That's the important what does of being that mean a legislator. If neutral? Uh, meaning that initially, sometimes opposition, somebody will say, "I oppose this bill," and you work with them, you fix some language that that is important uh, to them and to the other side, and then we get to a good place. And if somebody, I, I say this out again, pure ignorance. Do they all have to vote? Or is there a certain number that have to be there to be able to have? Is there a quorum called for, for voting to be done? So that's just with opposition. When I say opposition, I don't mean like um, assembly members or senators. Um, just with certain groups who may oppose a bill, you work with them. Uh, and legislators see that. They see how hard you work on a bill. And if it's at a place where they feel comfortable in voting for it, then they'll vote for it. And that's where we're at with this bill. So I'm very comfortable. We'll make it through the Senate side and make it through to the governor's desk. And hopefully he will sign. Well, you know, you you keep saying opposition. So I have to ask, Uh what what is the, you know, you you have an open door policy. Correct. And obviously there's always, there's always someone that has another opinion, right? (laughs) There's always another one. Yes. So what is, what has been the, if you want to sort of encapsulate it, what, what would the average person that would, or, or organization or consumer group, whatever it might be, that opposed this? What was their general feeling? What was their rationale for not being comfortable with it? Uh, so it could be um, like consumer attorneys. Um, fortunately, we had the Department of Insurance on board, um, but it could have, it could, there's so many different, just on your typical bill, there's so many different lobbyists and interest groups who may either support or oppose a bill. Uh, so it's just having that open door policy to to h- help your bill and help be- people not oppose your bill. And that's the important thing. That's how you get bills through. So they don't have to love it. They just can't hate it. They just can't hate it. Correct. That feels like a low bar, but I guess I guess that's <laughs> if that's how it works. It takes a lot of work. There's no question that this this seems like a a, a ton of work to have to go through. Yeah. Uh, what I'd like to do, we're gonna take another quick break. When we come back, I'd love to hear what some of the people that have not supported it in initially at least what their concerns were. It's also good to hear that the Department of Insurance is behind it, since if the Department of Insurance is behind it. And we elect the insurance commissioner. We have to think that that's that's a good sign for sure. Let's take another quick break. And when we come back, I'll put you on the hot seat. Okay. uh, And and try and get get an idea. Because I'm always interested to know what the different opinions are. And I'd love to find out a little bit more about what organizations, people, senators, whatever it might be, that didn't like it, what their thoughts were. So let's take a quick break. When we come back, we will continue our conversation with Assemblywoman Blanca Pacheco, which, again, thank you so much for being here. This is Insurance Hour, and I am your host, Carl Sussman. We will be back in a flash. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video. This show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.